guys, it's Jess from Gen Z, and this week I had a great time at YouTube Space LA with my Gen Z friends, and I had a great time looking at the new YouTube shows videos, so keep supporting YouTube, and this week I decided to be doing the pros and cons, cons of middle school. Let's get started. So the number five pro of middle school is that you have more than one teacher, and they all have different styles of teaching, which makes school a lot more interesting. Number four, um... You get a locker in middle school. Most middle schools have lockers, but some don't. But I was most excited for middle school because I got a locker because I always thought it was super duper cool to have a locker. And it's fun because you get to like learn your combo, you can put your books in there, you can decorate it how you want. So it's definitely something to look forward to. Number three is in middle school there's more opportunities. So for example, if you're interested in, in a sport, you can join a sports team. and there's different clubs you can join. You can even make your own club. And this is a really great way to find people who have the same interests as you. Number two. So in middle school, you have more independence. There's no one really checking up on you all the time to see if you're doing good or okay. Most of it's just all you. So for example, you have to find your way around the school by yourself. You have to make sure your homework's turned, on, turned in on time. And you have to manage your time wisely. So there's a lot out of you, but it's okay because you'll figure it out. And the number one pro is you get to meet new friends. This is my favorite one ever because you get to meet people that, new people, because in elementary school you're, you're stuck with the same pe people for, I don't know, five, six years. But in middle school you can start, out, start all over if you want or you can keep your same friends and you meet new fun people that you love hanging out with and it's really great. And now, the cons. So the number five con is that teachers are busier, so you may not get your help exactly when you need it. So for example, if I had a question in the middle of class, I need to ask the question as soon as possible, because otherwise the teachers are super busy, so it may be a really long time until you get your question answered. The number four con of middle school is that there's more tests and homework. So we have quizzes, pop quizzes, tests, or homework due like every day, like crazy amounts of time, so you have to be studying a lot at home. Number three con of middle school is that it, the halls are super busy and crowded and it's super hard to get around, so get ready to be pushed around. So the number two con of middle school is that PE gets more intense and there's locker rooms. So in middle school you have PE every single day and you have to dress out, at least at my school you do, and I don't know, there's just something about changing in front of other people. So the number one con of middle school is that you don't get to see your friends as much and you may not even end up having any of them in your classes. So at, in middle school there's lunch but it's not very long. There's no recess. So if you do want to hang out with your friends definitely schedule something after school. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing my pros and cons of middle school and thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Gen Z. And if you have any particular problems that you're having for middle school, please leave them down below because I love hearing from you. See you all next week.